Hello and welcome to our first lesson. Our first lesson will be dedicated uh, into getting dog familiar with the target. So creating a really good focus and understanding to search and touch for the target. Because knowing that it's the basic for any kind of continuation of the target training. So uh, basically, yes, we will start this with the shaping. I like the shaping uh, for these exercises when starting with target training because it um, encourages brain and understanding. And in those first stages, we really need that. We're not looking for the speed now. We're not looking for too much excitement. We're looking for the brain, for thinking, for dog actually understanding what we want from him. And like with everything, even later if you want to push the dog, so get more speed from him, the dog has to have a clear understanding what are we expecting from him. Uh, and because of that, yes, shaping great encourages brain, encourages thinking. Uh, and also not yet using the food machine at this stage, uh, because I like to start the target training in a way to present the target as an individual object. So not linked to anything ahead, but the target individual object when dog hears the command okay touch the target that's all regardless of where your position how you're moving from which side the dog is coming what is the reward where the reward is placed this kind of understanding of the target will help you a lot later because already like we know we do not have always a clear obstacle after the dog walk so uh knowing dog that the target is the individual object he should touch regardless of anything it will help you a lot in the later for when running full dog but can also be the continuation of the training. So you're prepared with good food, clicker, and we start with shaping session. So basically uh, be sure the target is nicely fixated so it doesn't move uh, and start shaking the dog to touch the target. Yeah, bravo, super! Yeah, bravo! So basically, as soon as he touches, doesn't matter with it, which leg, just as soon as he nicely touches the target, you click and reward the dog. Yeah, bravo! Yeah, super! Yeah, bravo! Yeah, bravo! Gradually you start moving a bit away from the target to increase the distance so dog will have to start searching for the target more and more and so you can also test how good his focus already is. Yeah, bravo! Yeah, super! Yeah, bravo! Uh, be sure to not help the dog at any point, like showing the target. If the dog has problems, then just go closer. Uh, and of course, the more shaping tricks you have done so far, the easier this exercise will be for the dog. Yeah, bravo! Yeah, bravo! Yeah, super! Uh, gradually, you can also try throwing the treats a bit away, so dog has different approaches to the target. And again, with that you encourage the dog who has to research for the target from many different directions. If you're training this on a normal grass, then better not to throw the treats because dog will probably be searching for too long. But again, this is like a good exercise for the living room, or if you're on the artificial grass, in that case, of course, you can already try throwing the treats. Yeah, bravo! Yeah, super! Yeah, bravo, Mishko! Yeah, super! Yeah, bravo! Again, you're nicely looking on the hits. Yeah, into the target. Yeah, super! Yeah, bravo!